All right, well, hi there again. So I'm still in Long Beach and I need to work my way up north. I'm gonna be uh, up in the next few days up in the Sherman Oaks area meeting a friend. And so I didn't want to stick around the bar again tonight. I wanted to kind of see if I could do, you know what's weird? So I see a lot of other people trying to do like stealth van parking and trying to do it on the coast near beaches and in, in exclusive areas, it's kind of hard. I don't really consider my van to be very stealth. I mean, it's got Winnebago marks all over. It's a big old bike rack on the back. You know, a lot of people try and convert theirs to look like a work truck or to like not have mine's full of windows. I don't put shades up in the front so the cats can go and they can look out. Anyone walking around will obviously know that this is not like a stealth camper van, but I want to see if I can still, you know, do some stealth camping-ish. I don't, I need to come up with a new word for it, um, in Santa Monica. So I found a couple neighborhoods in the area and I'm gonna head out that way and see uh, what, what I can find. From Long Beach here, it is gonna be 39 miles and about one hour. Oh, to put in drive. just found this station on Spotify it's called Yacht Rock Mix and I didn't I don't know what Yacht Rock was but it's this old school format of like 80s songs that I haven't heard for like a long time I don't think any radio stations really play this 80s style music anymore so I've been jamming out to these little slow jam 80s something music things it's, it's a pretty cool Spotify Yacht Rock Mix right over here off the uh, 405 and the 110 North is the uh, home to the Goodyear Blimp takes off and lands from right there and you can get rides on it and everything. It's kind of cool. Looks like it's just there chilling for now. Alrighty, made it to Highway 1 in Santa Monica. Keep my eye on the road so I don't have a repeat of what happened last time I was trying to record. 1.1 miles. And I hang a right. Look at that car. Not a bad way to spend $200,000. It says I've arrived and check this place out. So I looked and there were a few restrictions as far as timing, no parking 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Thursdays, probably street cleaning, but it's Sunday night, tomorrow's Monday. So I think we're gonna be good here. This is a, a nice little neighborhood and um, I think we're gonna try and camp here for the night. It's kind of far away from the beach, but there's some great overlooks. We'll go over there and check that out. All right, I think I'm gonna go out the driver door just to be a little less inconspicuous, but. So the beach is right up over there. Well, the ocean view, not the beach beach. Hmm, this house is being represented by global luxury. I can see why. It's gorgeous. The whole little walkway. Got some busking going on over here. So I'm on my way back to the car, but I decided to take a different route. I'm going through the neighborhoods and I'm looking around and I'm looking at the street signs. This entire neighborhood is all overnight parking okay, except for two hours at various times during the week on different streets, just for street sweeping and stuff. I even saw back here, there was a truck pulling like a 30 foot plus Airstream that was just camped out on the side of the road over here. So I think this is a good area and there's just tons of space out here. Just like ample amounts of open free parking, which is, it's really nice to know. So there are some maybe unwritten kind of best habits or rules when trying to do like some stealth parking in urban areas. Like, let me show you where I'm at right now. That's me and I'm parked right up in front of that house. But right over there, there's an empty space where it's all hidden up by bushes and shrubs. And that would be just a better spot because you're not parked right in front of someone's house when they're looking out the window, they're not seeing you, you're not seeing them. And it just gives you a little bit more privacy. So I think I'm gonna move the van from there, I'm gonna move it up to there. And hopefully that'll give everyone a little bit more privacy and such. I'm 
hoping too that this might be a little more level as well. So, see, just that small move right there. Gives me privacy from the street. Gets them a little more thing and the sign says no parking one to three Thursdays. So just that little change I'm hoping is going to make the homeowner feel a little better, make me feel a little better, and um, it took no effort at all. Well, good morning. I made it through the night here in Santa Monica in this really gorgeous neighborhood. But last night, I I got the cats. They woke me up around, I don't know, 2.30 or 3 in the morning, and I I looked out the window and I, I saw something weird. Hold on, let me show you. Let me show you. So, last night when I got here, the entire street was full of cars and it was busy. But this morning, or last night, I looked out the window and there were like no cars. It's like I guess a lot of the people from the beach were there. Then when it got dark and everyone went away, all the cars went away. So... I was like out here all by myself. So trying to be stealthy in a not so stealthy neighborhood, you kind of like want to blend in. There were no cars around here, so it was really hard to like blend in. But good thing is, I didn't get bothered either. So <sighs> it's Monday. Alright, well check this out. It's about 1, 11 o'clock now and the street, oh let's see, the streets again are all full in this spot. So overall this was a great spot but now it's uh, it's time to go. One of the hardest things on travel days is to get these two up and running. I hate to have to ruin their sleep but time to get up kids. Camden, time to go. It's time to go. Wakey, wakey. Oh, look it. There's a kitty out there. You see the kitty out there? You guys, look it, look it, look it. Izzy, look it, look it, look at that. There's, a, there's, a, there's another cat there. Look it, look it. Look it. Look it. Oh, you, yeah, you guys, you missed it. All right, I'm off. I think that was a very successful, you know, non-stealth, boondocking kind of thing. I mean, it can only be so stealth in this kind of van. But anyways, I think the big takeaway is if you're going to try and do this, you just got to be respectful. Think about your neighbors. Think about the neighborhood. Um, be careful of the signs and just do what you got to do, you know, but uh, just be as small and invisible as you can. Until next time, keep on van life in it and I will catch you in the next video.